I'm about to show you the best deal sites for doing online arbitrage in 2023, really 2024, just going forward. This is an amazing way to make money if you don't have a lot of money to start. So we're talking sub $1,000. Above $1,000, I'll have a video coming soon of how you might be able to do private label or other business models that would be able to buy inventory in bulk. But right now we're really just trying to turn a dollar into two, two into four, four and eight and so on. We're trying to double our money so that we can build up enough money on the side, maybe you're working already, um, to go and start another business model that can scale quicker and maybe make you 10K a month, 20K a month. I've done it personally. I used to do online arbitrage way back in the day when I was a youngster. And uh, I don't know, I don't think I've ever used that term before, but let's, <laughs> let's get into it. So first of all, just a quick definition, maybe for anyone who doesn't really understand the principle. If you're looking up this video, you probably do, but it's kind of unique the way that I like to do it. So you're, you're looking for a product that essentially is going to be able to double your money. That's where I consider it worth it. Um, so this is a, a, a backpack, a, a diaper bag backpack by a brand called um, Babel Roo. And by the way, you only need one piece of software to do today's video. There are free alternatives as well. I don't have a good recommendation because I don't use any others, but if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, um, I think there is a cheap plan that allows you to use this tool uh, and there's a discount code in the description. So you're going to open up X-Ray and this is going to tell you how many units they're selling per month. Our goal is to see that this number here says at least 30. We're way ahead of that. So these sell plenty. And the reason for that is we're going to be listing this product on Amazon or eBay or other sites wherever you're flipping these products. And we need to know that there's enough volume there so that when we list ours, it's actually going to sell. We wanna list something that no one's ever gonna buy because then you actually just lose however much you invested in that product. Um, so this is being sold for $41.99, $42.99. And if I come over to a deal site, again, you're gonna learn all of these, and um, we can see we can buy this product for $20.99. So then all I need to know, I already know that it sells well, is I need to see which one it is. It looks like it's the charcoal variation, this one. Um, Keep in mind, I am a unofficially diagnosed a little bit colorblind, so I can't tell that well, but uh, here we go. We're gonna open up the Helium 10 extension again and get a profitability calculator. Once this opens, again, there are free alternatives to this if you're on a low budget. Otherwise, like I said, link in the description. Um, we're gonna enter, enter in our manufacturing costs and we're gonna get rid of our freight costs. So that goes down to zero price we're going to sell it for is the price slightly below the buy box. So I'll say 41 99. Okay. You can see it's 42 here. I'll explain that in a second. Manufacturing cost is 20 99. We technically do have a cost custom amount freight cost per unit, and that's usually going to be below a dollar. I'll say a dollar just to be um, conservative, I guess. Uh, realistically, it's probably gonna cost you 20 cents, 30 cents to ship this product. We're buying it for 20.99. We're gonna pay a dollar to ship it into Amazon to be fulfilled. The FBA fee is $7.97. And then the referral fee is $6.30 on this sale. So we are going to net $5 from this sale. The ROI is only 23%. So therefore we would have to spend 20 to make five um, we want to double our money. So we want to spend 20 to make 20. So I would not consider this deal worth it. I like to look for at least 100% ROI. So we would know that this product is maybe a little bit too bulky. The fees are eating up some of this. If we got that seven or $8 back, we'd be much closer to our goal. Maybe up towards $13. At that point, I would consider spending 20 to make 13. So that is the main idea of what we're doing. Now we can get into the deal sites to find the deals to come back here really quickly. Don't go anywhere. There's one last step you need to know before doing this. Um, also, quick disclaimer, you need to know the terms of service and the brands that you can and cannot sell before doing this. Um, I did this in the past. I'm just sharing my experience. This is not advice. So if you come over to this list and I'm on the sellingfamily.com slash Amazon restricted brands list, scroll through here at the bottom, you'll see an updated list of all of the brands that you cannot sell. So for instance, if we saw a Bare Minerals or a Bath and Body Works product on one of the deal sites that we're about to use, we would know, hey, you cannot sell that. And the quickest way to do that is to go like this. We're gonna go Command F and then 
Babel Roo is the brand we just found. It is not on the list because it didn't pop up. Whereas if we did bare minerals, we would see that it is popping up. Um, and that's gonna work for anything anywhere on this list. So if GNC was there, and even if we weren't looking at it, it would still pull us down to where it is. Um, and therefore you would know you cannot sell that. So with that being said, thank you much. Th thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm looking forward to providing you with an immense amount of value today. Um, let's get into it. So our first site is Woot, woot.com. Um, we'll start at the home page. Just search literally woot.com, and I'm going to show you every step through the way of each of these how I would use these deal sites. This one's pretty straightforward. Um, typically, I look for at least a 55% or more discount on the product. That's generally where we're going to find those margins of doubling our money to make it worth our time and money. So $69.99 for a product that supposedly sells for $99.99, I don't necessarily want to click into that right away. Um, I did click onto the backpack because it said it was selling for $79.99. So a price point that low is showing me that hey, you know what, maybe I can actually um, make some money there. But then when you go and search it on Amazon, that's your next step. You'd see that it's in fact not actually $79.99, um, or at least it's on sale right now. So we wanna see what the lifetime of that sale is. By the way, there's a trick for doing that. Again, this, you will have access to this graph right here if you download um, the software I mentioned, Helium 10, through the link in the description. We can see the new price. So this green line here, this is important. You want to look at the sales history of any product that you're considering selling. And sorry for jumping all over the place. Um, it's been a little while since I did this myself. I sell a made in the USA brand now, but this is something I used to do very frequently. So kind of going back through the motions here, bear with me. Um, always check your price history to see what the new price is. So they have listed a list price of $79.99. They're being a little cheeky. Um, it's been list price $80 for months and months and months and months now. So it's not the real price. The real price is $42.99. We could see that indicated by the green line. So yellow line, no good. Follow the green line um, and you'll know. The reason I say follow the green line is if it was for the past four months, $79.99, they're having a one week sale where it's $42.99, it's likely to go back. But if you see their pricing history and you can figure out an average of what the price should be um, selling on Amazon, then we will know if there's money to be made or not. So back to Woot. So we're just on the home page right now. I generally like to retire this for now. Best Sellers is a really good um, good place to go. There's usually some really good deals in there. They're best sellers for a reason. Some of these big brands you cannot sell. Like I said, just go check the list. I happen to know a few of them by heart. Um, and then last chance, I'm gonna look through here. But yeah. First website's woot.com. So this is an interesting one, right? $69.99 or $66.99, sorry. Normally $200. And the brand is Ufi, I think, E-U-F-Y. So we'll go over to our list. First stop, E-U-F-Y. Okay, it's not there. Now, by the way, this is not the end all be all. I would recommend going to your Amazon account, Amazon Seller Central account, going to catalog and then searching the brand there and trying um, to list it theoretically. You don't actually have to list it. Um, just see, can it be listed? Does it say this is a restricted item or not? A restricted brand or not? So far, so good. So we'd go to our next step and we would search EUFY. And then Boost IQ will probably get us there. See if it's there and it is, okay. This is the 11S Boost IQ Robovac, 11S Boost IQ Robovac, and it's actually more expensive here. It's 249. So what do we do next? We check how much are they selling? Are they selling at least one every single day? So we'll open up our handy dandy tool. They're selling a lot more than one a day. They're selling like 75 a day. So we can buy one of those. Again, make sure you go check, make sure you can actually sell it within your Amazon Seller Central account. Um, limit two per customer, so I would buy two. Um, and right there, well, hang on now. We have to check the margins again because there's FBA fees, etc. But theoretically, at a price, uh, a discount that high, we should be able to buy it. And now here, again, the list price says 249. Let's go check, is it actually selling for 249? 
consistently. Look at our green line. And actually, yes, it did have a sales history of selling at 249. So we can see sales history right here is 249, 239, 249, 249. They just recently had a deal where they dropped it down to 159. Um, then back to 249, it looks like right now we're at 199. So you could technically buy this and there would be a, for instance, right here, there's an option for 249. So let's do our margins really quick. We would wanna keep that in mind in case we have to sell it for a little less, but let's assume that we could sell it for 239, even if it takes maybe a few weeks to sell. We'll get rid of the auto-generated amount there. We will change it to custom amount for shipping. Because this product is bigger, it's probably gonna cost a little bit more. So I'll say maybe $3 for shipping. Um, keep in mind when shipping products for arbitrage, you're gonna have partnered Amazon shipping. So people are um, maybe watching this and thinking, how in the world can you ship a huge robo vacuum for $3? I try and ship an envelope these days and it's $3, right? I know what you mean, but you get partnered shipping, so you get special costs, special treatment, uh, nepotism, whatever. And uh, so we're gonna put our price we have to pay for it, which was 66.99. Let's check out our margins. Okay, amazing, amazing, amazing. So ROI is 171%. Uh, we could net $120 on a sale of this product, assuming we sell it for 239. Let's go say we have to sell it for 199, or better yet, 198 or 195. Oops. Play around with some of the lower price options. We would still make over 100% ROI, which means we would more than double our money times two. We just turned $120 into um, $360. Am I doing the math right? 300, yeah, $80, $80. Mm -hmm. I think I did that right, <laughs> but moral of the story, that was a successful find on one of the sites that I just showed you. Make sure you could sell it. That's a potential option. If you're seeing this today and you want to do this, I mean, you have nine hours left. All right, next site. Next site is one that I probably made the most money selling off of. It is a really unique model and it is probably the hardest model to do right. So again, disclaimer. However, there's usually really good deals and they have a really intuitive um, system built into this because it's all Amazon products already. So we'll be ordering them directly from Amazon with the coupon code and then listing them back on Amazon. So check this out. This is $9 for these wireless headphones. We could click get coupon. Stop it. Okay, you have to make an account. Regardless, $9, make your account, it is free. We would go search this on Amazon. Okay, come back, it's up top, boom. IPX5, there they are. As seen here, they are $29 indeed. We would just look at pricing history, make sure they're consistently selling at a high enough price that it would be worth our time. We're getting a little slow now because I've got a ton of tabs open. Um, nonetheless, new price is $29.99 consistently. It actually has never changed. So then we would just come up top. We would load our profitability calculator. I'm starting to understand this now, I would hope. And let's see what kind of deal we have here. So manufacturing cost is gonna cost us $9. This, something like this, seriously, is probably 40 cents to ship, maybe even less. And that is custom amount on one unit. We're gonna sell it for $28.99. Um, by the way, it reminded me I have to go over that in a second. ROI, if it's over 100, you're good to go. Just make sure you can sell it. Um, this is obviously a very small brand. I can just tell by the, um, by the listing. I don't know, I've been selling on Amazon for years. but. If you really want to see, you go come over here. <laughs> um, what was the brand name? U Trip. Uto Trip. Yeah, that's not going to be here. Okay, like I said, here we go again. Just go to your Seller Central account. Go to Catalog. Um, right here. This is actually what I was talking about. So if you go to your Seller Central account, you'll see this screen here. You would search the brand, um, apply to sell, and then if it says this, you need approval to list this brand. Do not order that product. Don't waste your time. Um, you cannot list that product. If you're interested in learning more about that, maybe read this website. Free plug to this website. It looks pretty good. Um, okay. But anyway, yeah, Vipon, like I said, there's a reason that that's such a hidden gem deal site. And I haven't seen it in many other YouTube videos. 
Um, this actually took me a while to find this deal site, so this is a hidden gem of this video. Like down below, um, give me a thumbs up. Let's try and get this video to 200 likes uh, for the Vipon shout out. This is a good one. But like I said, it's the somewhat most risky one because you're selling other Amazon sellers products. So one thing that I used to do back in the day um, is make sure that the brand is not brand registered. So a good way of telling that a pretty good way of telling it, not a cer for certain, but you come over here, um, or sorry, you click on their brand name right here, and if it brings you to Amazon, and it doesn't bring you to a store on Amazon, like if it just brings you to the search results for their brand right here, then that probably means they're not brand registered. If it brings you to a storefront, um, let's see if we can find a storefront. This this brand surely has a storefront. I'll show you what that would look like. So if we, if we click on this, and it says visit their store, they have brand registry, which means they have intellectual property registered with Amazon. Um, they've shared their trademark number with them. They got the storefront. They, Amazon knows this is their brand. That means they can counterfeit claim your product. Even though you're selling their product and it's not technically counterfeit, they can file a counterfeit claim if you list in their buy box and um, get a suspension on your account. Not literally a suspension, but it's like a, a counterfeit strike. And too many of those can lead to a um, suspension. Now, speaking of the buy box, this is the buy box over here. If you've ever ordered something on Amazon, you've used the buy box. We could see down below there's new and used from nine different options. When we're doing online arbitrage, we'll be listed in here as an option. So people can manually come over here and click into maybe new from, let's see, yeah, I don't think they allow new sellers, but new from 45.99 and if that's less than the price that's listed here which currently they're running a deal so it's not um, then it could potentially show up here so if you have a good healthy amazon seller central account and you have the lowest priced buy box option um has not just the lowest you can't just be a cent lower but if you were like a dollar or two dollars lower you can actually win the whole box meaning that if someone hit add to cart they would add yours to cart directly um, okay so that's vipon Again, really awesome site. There's some really super deep discounts on here. Uh, I've seen stuff as high as like 80, 90. Yeah, look at this. This is 80% discount. That's $144. This is one that uh, we're coming into the right season for it. If it's seasonal, uh, just make sure you would look at last year's sales history, see how they did during Q4. If they do well, that's one that you might consider picking up. Um, I've tripled, quadrupled my money using this site because of how deep some of the discounts are. Um, and how lucrative it is to just order something directly from Amazon, sell it back on Amazon for a higher price. Um, now, some of you may be thinking, why would someone order something from Amazon for a higher price if they could just come here and get it for cheaper? That's because not everyone looks up deals, not everyone looks up discounts. Um, a lot of people just search something on one website and they buy whatever looks best at the current time of day. So moving on to the next site, we have Slick Deals. Sorry, there's something weird going on outside my house right now. I don't know what that is. Anyway, slickdeals.com, this is another one where we just look at what's being listed here. Um, we assess the deal thinking, could I double my money if I ordered this? For instance, there's no potential I could double my money here because it's not even half price, right? It needs to be half price or more, theoretically, for me to double my money. If I'm gonna spend 109, I would have to get 210 back. Now that's just my personal criteria for it being worth my time. Um, if I wanna scale my money, it has to be somewhat quick, um, so that wouldn't work. But again, here's another deal site. Now that I went through the basics with you, you know how this would work. They would look through here, try and find something that's deeply discounted. Um, for instance, maybe this could work, $160, it's REI. I have a feeling that might be, okay, it's not on our restricted products list. That's a really good sign. So we can actually go look at that one. Um, we would go back here. It's a women's co-op. Um, sleeping bag it looks like so sometimes you can just take the title right here come back over to Amazon and just search the exact title on Amazon like that okay I don't see it on Amazon which makes sense because it's REI selling they're probably selling on their own website so in this case that might not work but one of the things you could do also is you don't have to do it on Amazon. You could just do it, uh, sell it on eBay. So see if there's other listings on eBay and then sort by recently sold and that'll give you a good idea of if it's going to work or not. So that's Slick Deals. 
Uh, moving on to a few more, now that you have the basics, I'll just show you the rest of the sites and you could go from there. Um, the next one is Deal News, so dealnews.com. Again, similar idea. We're just gonna look through the actual products, see if it's discounted by more than 50%. If it is, go ahead and click through to it. Um, so this one is NOAA Tech 2 Camera Home Security System. Sometimes electronic can be very intuitive. It is listed right on Amazon, so we would definitely be able to purchase that. The only question is, can we sell it? So we go to our little list. This is our first stop. We do NOAA Tech, it's not there. Um, usually smaller brands won't be here, bigger brands will be. So then we would follow up with our strategy that is shown up here. We would go to catalog, see if we can list it, if we can. Um, then we would go and check our profitability. So we'd come over here, open up X-ray, profitability calculator. We are ordering this for, what was the price again? down here somewhere. I need help guys, comment down below. Where did I get this from? Okay, it's $48, <laughs> there we go. So we'll put $48 here. Um, our cost, ship it again, slightly bigger product, but $2 we'll say, and then we can sell it for, what was their listing price? 159, so we could sell it for 157, 99. Come down here, do we have 100%? Yes we do, we have 150%. So you can more than double your money there. You could spend for uh, $50 to make $76 back. Um, obviously, that's a really good deal. I'd pull that lever every day if I could. And then moving on. So brickseek.com is the last one. Um, this is an online, this is one I looks like I already clicked on. Well, let's go check out this one. So <laughs> brickseek.com, you would click on the homepage, obviously, go find this. Um, let me, hopefully I don't lose that. That one actually looked pretty good. Yeah, it's right there. So we could take this guy, check it out on Amazon. Boom, back over here, all departments, look through, search. Um, keep in mind, we skipped a few steps just because I'm trying to get through the rest of the websites for you. You wanna look at the pricing history and then you also wanna look at the revenue of each, make sure they're selling at least one unit a day. Generally reviews are a pretty good sign. If it ha something has like almost no reviews and it's probably not selling very much, if it has lots of reviews, it's probably selling fine if you don't have the fancy software like I do. Um, so let's see, I don't see the exact EV. Okay, it's right here and it is $34.99 and we can buy it for, uh, that was over here, $13.48. Okay, so technically we can buy it for less than half price, which means there is a potential to double our money here. So we're gonna click into that. I'm gonna close some of my tabs here. Maybe I get a, a shot at some faster loading. We've already seen all these guys. <laughs> Hopefully you took your notes. Oh, I closed the wrong tab, but I think we'll, we'll end it there. We, we covered a lot of products and a lot of different deal sites, um, at least for that one. Last deal site that we have is JumpSend. Again, this is another variation of products that are all sold on Amazon. You can order them for a deeper discount, coupon price. Make sure they're not brand registered so you don't get counterfeit claimed. Um, and just do your due diligence. Be smart about this. Um, don't do anything that's restricted. Make sure you're you're really trying to figure out the um, the depth of this. Uh, can be a little bit complicated, but there's some huge upside if you do it right. It's a great way to double your money when you don't have a lot of money to start. Um, be sure to subscribe down below for more free videos like this. Appreciate you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Later.